Yo, this is seriously the coolest thing ever. Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Rich or right away. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So as you guys can see, we are back here on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. But right now I'm over on the PC and whenever I'm on the PC playing Black Ops 3, you guys know it's time for some more mod tools. So in today's video, guys, we are going to be checking out a brand new mod tools pack that recently just came out. I also want to give a huge shout out to DKA Masta. I believe he's the person who created this mod pack and it's absolutely amazing, man. I can't take credit for this. So huge shout out to him but if we go into our create a class here on call of duty black ops 3 you will see there are a lot of different weapons that we can use from call of duty black ops 4 we have weapons like the vapor right here we have the cat 45 dlc weapon uh, if we scroll down here we have the rampage dlc weapon the outlaw which is a sniper and also it is the mastercraft version of it which is really awesome so we're going to be checking out black ops 4 weapons but playing Black Ops 3. I honestly thought this was a great, great idea. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, man, make sure to drop that like. I really would appreciate it. Let's see if we can smash 2,000 likes on today's video, man. Also, if you guys are brand new to the channel and you guys thought that, you know, this video was a good idea and you guys like the concept of this video and want to see more mod tool videos, definitely, definitely click that subscribe button. I love doing these kinds of videos. I've done plenty in the past. So guys, without wasting any more time, let's hop into a game. Let's check out all of these weapons and uh, let's get into it. Alrighty, guys. So the first weapon we are going to be checking out is is the vapor xkg now personally i love the vapor in black ops 4 man it's one of the weapons that i actually use a lot and i believe it actually got a buff in the most recent update but either way this is the vapor but it looks so crazy to be using this weapon in call of duty black ops 3 man like i personally love black ops 3 i thought it was one of the best cods might be my favorite call of duty it's just so cool to actually like see these weapons for black ops 4 work with bo3 like these weapons look like you know perfect really they, they look awesome so once again huge shout out to dka amasta for actually, you know, creating this mod pack and whatnot. Also, here's the Cat 45, which we actually never saw the Cat 45 in Black Ops 3. It was in Black Ops 2, uh, but here it is. It's basically the version from Black Ops 4, which makes it even awesome, I think, because the Cat 45 is uh, is a really, really cool uh, DLC weapon in Black Ops 4, and uh, it's pretty awesome. So let me know in the comment section if you guys have the Cat 45 in Black Ops 4. But damn, dude, this looks awesome. Looks really, really legit. Looks clean. It doesn't even look buggy at all, and I'm pretty sure... It kind of sounds like the exact same like sound file as it is in Black Ops 4. Like it sounds like the same exact weapon as it is in Black Ops 4. So that's really, really awesome. It's basically like just taking the weapon and then putting it in Black Ops 3 as if it was like a new Black Ops 3 DLC. Weapon. All right, guys. So next up here, we have the Rampage DLC shotgun. And this is one of the more like recent uh, weapons that came out in Black Ops 4 with Operation Grand Heist. And I think I actually just figured out how to inspect weapons in this mod tools pack. Now, if you guys know in Black Ops 3, there was no way to inspect weapons. Yeah, here it is. Yo, look, there was never a way to inspect weapons like this in Black Ops 3. Like I feel if Black Ops 3 had a way to inspect weapons i think it would be such a cool idea man. just a cool way to like look at the ppsh or the xmc and whatnot that would be so cool to just like inspect the xmc but i'm pretty sure yeah i think i just hold down the square button on my controller and you can inspect the rampage right here so right now we're also gonna be checking out the outlaw and this outlaw right here is actually the mastercraft version the high noon version yep here we go it's, it's working we can inspect the weapons on black ops 3 man as you can see really really awesome stuff and once again huge shout out to the person who made this i feel like this was not easy to actually do and you know add like an inspecting feature in black ops 3 bam gotcha gotcha okay not oh my god got you as well Dude, I'm already dying to trip mines, and I'm versing bots right now. Like, I'm versing bots, guys. Yeah, I love the Rampage right here. As you can see, it's a full auto shotgun. And then we also have the Outlaw High Noon Mastercraft variant. Come on. Let's go, baby. Uh, this is so cool, dude. This is honestly one of the coolest mod packs I've ever seen. And, you know, I've used a lot of different mod packs before. And uh, this definitely has to be one of the coolest ones, seriously. Moving on, guys, right here, we have the Rampart 17, aka, like, the Scar V2, basically. But this Rampart is definitely one of the most overpowered weapons in Black Ops 4 right now. It literally kills in, like, three shots, has high cal, high cal 2. Overall, this gun's a beast in Black Ops 4. But, yeah, here is the Rampart 17. Now, I'm going to inspect it right now. As you guys can see, the inspecting does work on this weapon. Basically, the same inspection, I believe, as the one in Black Ops 4. So, really, nothing changed right there. But, overall... This is so cool, man, for real. And one of the DLC weapons we all wanted to see in Black Ops 3 was the Scar. We always talked about the Scar being like a potential DLC weapon in Black Ops 3, and I always wanted to see that as a brand new assault rifle, but it just never came to fruition, and unfortunately, we never saw it. But 
we're using the rampart right here, which is basically like the scar. You guys know it's basically like the scar right here. And then also right here is the Maddox. You guys should be familiar with the Maddox. I, I personally love this weapon in Black Ops 4. And it feels pretty similar, man. It feels pretty similar. I didn't put on the reflex sight, but the reflex sight was just kind of like a default attachment on this weapon. So I couldn't really adjust or, you know, edit the attachments on these certain weapons. They kind of just came how they were. But uh, yeah, it has reflex sight on, which is honestly not that bad. Oh boy, I, dude, I threw the concussion like I was about to heal in Black Ops 4. That is scary, man. That is so scary. Yeah, let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about the Maddox. We can actually inspect it real quick, too. Yup, this is the inspection that the Maddox usually has in Black Ops 4 as well. So the, I just I just find that the fact that we can inspect these weapons in Black Ops 3 is amazing because we, we never could do that in the game. Inspecting weapons was never a feature in Black Ops 3, and I just feel like it always should have been but it never, it never actually came out or never was a thing. All right, guys, next up here, we have the MX-9. You guys should be familiar with the MX-9. It is a submachine gun in Black Ops 4, and I'm shooting the weapon. I don't know if it sounds like the MX-9. I don't know, it might sound a little bit different. The weapons look phenomenal, dude. Like, look at this MX-9 right here. It looks absolutely phenomenal. And a uh, cool part about this mod pack is I was able to put on, you know, this Dante camo on my MX-9 and, you know, other camos on different weapons, which is super awesome, too. So these weapons are very, very customizable when it comes to this mod pack, which is really, really dope. Y'all can, man, make sure to drop a like on the video if you guys are enjoying this video, because I thought it'd be pretty creative and I wanted to just showcase this on the channel. And next up here, we actually have the Cordite. And this Cordite has the map. Mastercraft version of it, man. This is so freaking awesome. It is the Mastercraft of the Corday, which I believe it's called Zero G. It's like that space shuttle variant that we got a few weeks ago. But uh, yeah, this is also definitely one of my favorite Mastercrafts when it comes to Black Ops 4. And I absolutely love the Cordite too. So I wonder if it changes. Imagine if this Mastercraft changes, because as you guys know, with different Mastercrafts or, you know, reactive camos in Black Ops 4, every like five to 10 kills, the camo usually changes. So let me just get a few kills with this Cordite, see if for some reason this thing could actually change. I don't know if that's possible when it comes to Black Ops 3, but it's looking like we're getting a lot of kills and the camo is not changing. It's not adding those flames. You guys know what I'm talking about, but either way, it, that that's fine. I mean, even just having this Cordite in Black Ops 3 is fine with me. You know what I mean? But it'd be a really cool feature if maybe somehow they can add it later on that, uh, you know, we can upgrade our camos in Black Ops 3. That was also never really a feature in the game. But uh, yeah, here's the Zero G Space Shuttle Mastercraft variant. Yo, this, this bot's got to chill, man. You gotta chill, homie. I'm trying to, I'm trying to spectate. I'm trying to check out this weapon right here. Now, guys, we're gonna be looking at the Damon, which is also another DLC weapon from Call of Duty Black Ops 4. It is a submachine gun, and whoa, okay, this is a little bit different. So this Damon right here is fully auto. It's not a three-round burst that the Damon usually is. Yeah, it's, it's just fully auto. I'm just holding down the trigger. There's also no sound to it i don't think there's any sound to it when i'm shooting which is really really interesting too so i guess a little bit of a bug maybe he has some fixes and some bugs to figure out but i mean seriously we can still shoot the weapon we can still check out the daemon right here and overall it, it is freaking badass dude it really really is i love the daemon and that's a great dlc weapon great weapon in black ops 4 and we're killing it right now with this daemon let's also inspect it one more time Woo! Yeah, this Damon's looking fresh. Yo, the, can the bots leave me alone? And lastly, guys, we have the Hades, which is this freaking crazy LMG. Okay, this is a really, really strange weapon. I'm, like, shooting it, but it's, like, it's sounding a little bit strange. Either way, I don't know what these attachments are on it either. This attachment setup is kind of weird. We have, like, a recon scope on it. But, yeah, here's the Hades LMG. I don't think you're able to put on the operator mod for this thing, but I think that's pretty much all the weapons for now in this mod tools pack. I wanted to make this video, guys, just to showcase it to you guys, you know, just to use Black Ops 4 weapons in Black Ops 3. I thought that was absolutely amazing. Really, really creative idea. And uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about this video as well. There's definitely a lot more weapons this person can, you know, add into this mod pack. He can add, you know, the ABR. He can add a lot more of, you know, the submachine guns as well, like the Spitfire. I mean, we kind of already have the Spitfire. It's basically like the Vesper in Black Ops 3. But yeah, there's definitely a lot more weapons he can actually add. You know, you can add the Paladin, I believe the Kashka, different sort of Mastercraft and, you know, reactive camos if it's possible. So I feel like this mod pack definitely has a lot of potential to grow. I believe it's kind of just like a starting thing. And there's a lot of weapons to already check out. So I hope you guys enjoyed, man. If you guys did, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Once again, huge shout out to DKA Masta for making this mod tools pack. But thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys next time.